Begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you. Allow yourself to change positions or make any adjustments that you might need to establish comfort in your body. Allow yourself to enjoy that comfort, taking in the simple pleasure. Simply being comfortable in your body to whatever extent that's available to you. From here, invite your body to relax. Notice if there's any muscular tension that's present for you anywhere in the body. And invite those parts of your body to relax, to loosen, to let go. Allow your body to relax. Again, allow yourself to enjoy this relaxation. The simple pleasure of relaxing your body. If you'd like, if it feels good for you, Invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile. Allowing your body to steer you towards happiness. Take a moment to enjoy this state of your body, being comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. Really enjoy that. See if you can allow these to be qualities that you establish and maintain and return to if needed throughout the entire practice period. Being comfortable in your body and relax with a gentle, easy smile on your face. Returning to these qualities whenever you need to. 
maintaining them for as long as possible. So without setting these qualities aside, begin to involve your mind. Take a few moments to say some kind words to yourself. Perhaps words of appreciation. Or giving yourself a compliment. Or encouraging yourself. Use mental talk to be kind to yourself, to love on yourself. You're doing wonderfully. I'm so proud of you. I love you so much. These are some phrases you could use if you like, or another one, or feel free to say specific things to yourself about your day or your situation. Whatever will resonate for you, whatever works for you. Take a few moments to be kind to yourself with inner speech. Very good. Now, bring to mind your easy to love person or animal, whoever that is for you. Someone who's relatively easy for you to connect to a sense of love for. Visualize them in your mind's eye. Perhaps recalling a happy memory that you shared or simply imagining them being happy, smiling or laughing or playing or dancing, whatever is appropriate to this person and your relationship with them. Visualize that in your mind's eye. Using the imagination of this person to Cultivate a sense of love and goodwill. To wish them well, wanting them to be happy.
if it's helpful to you, feel free to use mental talk to complement or even replace these imaginations, mental image. Saying phrases to this person about your love for them and your wish that they might be happy. Whether you use image or talk in your mind, cultivate the will that this person might be happy. Allow that intention to blossom in your heart and tend to it. If, as you do this, feelings of love, of love arise in your body, if you can feel this love in your heart, allow yourself to notice that and really enjoy it. These feelings of love may or may not be available to you at this time. It's no problem if they're not. But if they are, be nourished by them. Establish yourself in them. And really enjoy them. There are three basic modalities available to us to cultivate love, images, and talk in our minds, and feelings in our body. These are our instruments, our tools, our playground. Any image, phrase, or feeling that you can have 
it's consonant with this sense of love. It's fair game. It's all available to you. For this practice period, we'll be putting on a particular lens, a way of seeing, exploring it, playing with it. This lens is that we are love. Fundamentally, what we are, who we are, is love. for the remainder of this practice period. See if you can use these tools of image and talk and feelings in your body to explore this way of seeing that you are love. A simple way to do this would be to repeat the phrase, I am love, again and again at a rhythm that feels good for you, reminding yourself that you are love. You can also do that in simply by staying in contact with the feelings of love in your body that you may have come in contact with, that you may have cultivated. Using those feelings as a doorway to exploring this way of seeing, a place where you are love. There are simply two possible ways of exploring this territory, trying on this frame. But any way that you choose to explore it is fair game. It's all good. Allow yourself to explore the perspective that you are love.
if you're using phrases, you can simply repeat the phrase, I am love, again and again, at a rhythm that feels good for you. I am love. I am love. I am love. Using mental talk to explore this perspective. If the feelings of love are available to you, continue to maintain them, allowing them to grow, and expand, perhaps using them as a venue for exploring this perspective that you are love. But again, any way of doing that is totally okay. Continue to explore this perspective in a way that makes sense to you, feels good for you. Allow yourself to be playful and exploratory. I am love.
in the last few minutes of the practice period. Bring to mind a situation that you might face in the near future, perhaps in the next few days. And imagine how you might approach that situation if you knew that fundamentally who you are is love. See if you can set some intentions. In a loose, lighthearted, but loving way to manifest this frame, this way of seeing in your upcoming interaction. Establishing the conditions for this love to manifest as kindness, as action in the world. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 